Yay, we got some brand new controversy for the One Piece anime, and this one is sort of strange to be honest what's going on guys caleb here welcome back to the channel today we're going to talk about a little bit of a discussion going around about episode 1090 of the one piece anime and some people having some legit issues about it and just some legit thoughts about it and and i kind of see where they're coming from so i'm going to lay out the the facts for you guys we're going to show some examples i'm going to show you guys kind of what's going on warning and spoiler ahead if you are not caught up to the one piece anime feel free to jump off or you know, go somewhere else, but I will be discussing a couple spoilers in this as well. All right, let's jump right into this. So we have finally made it to Egghead in the anime. This is amazing. This is awesome. It's been a long time coming. However, there was one super strange thing with the return of one specific character, Jewelry Bonnie. So here's the big spoiler, and I'm not going to go into the details, of course, but we just found out that Jewelry Bonnie is actually a 12-year-old. We got some more information on her devil fruit power, what she's able to do, what she's not able to do, I guess, but she is basically an adult 12-year-old. A 12-year-old in a, an adult's body is basically what's going on here. But at the end of the day she's a 12 year old and this episode depicts some very strange things and that is where the drama and the controversy is coming from okay so basically jewelry bonnie is reintroduced into the anime and i'm not gonna show like these photos in their entirety either if you're a thousand ninety episodes into one piece you kind of have an idea of the the females in this show and kind of how they're portrayed sometimes i mean if you take a look at nami or robin or just some of the other females in the show you kind of have that sense of the, the females in this show some of them you know a little bit more sexualized than others and that's just like most shows to be honest and one of those characters was introduced jewelry bonnie back in the anime we saw her a couple times like she did that thing to save zoro back on like the archipelago but she is like hyper sexualized in this episode and it's super strange because we just found out that she's literally 12 years old and i think the weird part is there were for sure ways to introduce jewelry bonnie back into the anime especially after finding out her age and her devil fruit power that didn't have to like do it the way that this happens now a lot of people are mad at the animators a lot of people are mad at oda a lot of people are mad at the writers and that's just kind of up to your own discretion on who you want to be mad at but i mean like this is kind of what we're we're dealing with i mean you can't say that she's not very sexualized in this and for her age right and really for this video i don't want to like pick a side or tell you what's right or wrong or you know put the blame on anyone i just kind of want to tell you guys like where the drama is coming from and why people are thinking and doing things a certain way or if this comes up in discussion why people are mad episode 1090 etc etc and this is basically it and it's essentially because jewelry bonnie is 12 and i don't think it's okay to depict a 12 year old to look like this that is all on the other hand and this post says it perfectly our girl nami nami swan completely of age looked terrific in this episode so cute so beautiful like always and that is that you guys now i do want to know your guys' thoughts obviously like t t 1090 episodes in on the writers and everybody's side like these guys are literally in autopilot because they put out an episode every single every week so the writers the animators it's just like almost autopilot for them and, and they kind of they have to forget about the lore sometimes and they're just kind of going with what is on their paper and on their sheet that's why a lot of people are siding with the um, writers and the animators to being innocent because a lot of these guys are just on autopilot they see the script they see the picture they see whatever they see the rough draft and they're just animating and going as you go this exact scenario has happened so many times where we see a character like this sexualized and everybody kind of freaks out or we see a character who's naked everyone freaks out it is what it is but this is a very weird case where we kind of had a little bit of insight about this character and it kind of just makes this scenario not okay but at the end of the day man i do want to know what your guys' thoughts are i kind of hope that this is either addressed or is talked about in a way that kind of like fixes this or makes it better or they kind of go back and fix this or they're just like yeah we probably shouldn't have done that or <laughs> maybe they're going to come out with some loophole how that's not correct and she's a 12 year old living like a 30 year old i don't know i don't know what they're gonna do i personally don't think the way that they did this is quite okay and it's it was it was a little bit uncomfortable kind of when you dive in that was my first thought when i watched the episode i was like mm, i don't know how i feel about that so yeah dang man that's that's tough and i and i really do hate it when there's controversy around like my favorite anime because one piece is certainly my favorite show my favorite anime ever you know you guys know that i've done a lot of videos on it but i want to know your guys thoughts make sure you like comment subscribe thank you guys for everything i love you guys so much let's have some discussion down in the comments and we'll catch you guys on the next video